Hello guys, this is John from Game Nation, and today I'm going to be reviewing Bethesda Softworks new game, Dishonored. Dishonored takes place in the city of Dunwall, a grimy industrial town that has been experiencing a plague. The plague is very deadly, and what's worse is that all the dead bodies bring around very dangerous rats. You play as Corvo, the Empress's bodyguard, and the game starts out with you returning from a mission to get word on the plague. Soon after you return, the Empress is killed and her daughter is kidnapped, and you are blamed. You're taken to prison for execution, where you then fight your way out and you begin your quest for revenge. Now, I loved the storyline. It really did make you feel like you were Corvo. Very immersive. However, it's just not as good as the diversity of the missions. Each mission is different in every single part of its own way. But, it's still okay, just not as good. The only other problem with the storyline is that sometimes the targets are very easy to kill. I once skipped half a mission up because the target was standing right there. That aside, I love the storyline. The gameplay of Dishonored is very refreshing from uh, the usual games and that it gives you a mass amount of choice. You can play the game and kill everyone in your path, or you can knock out the guards or simply avoid them altogether. The game has two possible endings that each depend on how you play the game. Kill more guards, more rats than undead will try to kill you, and the ending will be darker. If you don't kill as many guards, then the ending is much lighter. My favorite weapon in the arsenal, however, is the knife, which feels great to kill with. Slashing through enemies is incredibly fun, and the blood just makes it better. The added powers also make you think you are more than capable of handling all situations, although this is definitely not the case. The powers can be upgraded, as can the weapons, but the basics of each are perfectly good on their own. The combat is very well done. Counters are something to aim for, and there is nothing like freezing time as guards shoot you, just to freak them out. It really does make you feel like a top-notch bodyguard. The world of Dunball is, quite honestly, it's beautiful, but it still keeps to that normal Bethesda gang feel. You can feel the dirt of Dunball as you walk through it and almost cringe when you see rats scurry towards you. Now, there are some technical problems with uh, the world, you know, missing walls and such, but that's just something to be expected. The only other problem is that uh, Bethesda's carry option doesn't show your hands and it kind of takes away from the whole experience. Now in the world there are some events that happen in the free roam part. It makes Dunwall seem even more alive. Truly it's a great world. Now my final opinion on this game is that I loved it and it's definitely worth the 60 bucks. As a whole it makes you feel like a superhero and the difference between each level just adds to the fun of figuring out how to strike hell upon your targets. Yeah. Options it gives you make you feel totally in control. A few graphical issues and easy targets aside, this game is great. 9.5 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.